Hello, today we will be assembling the Storecraft 4-in-1 convertible crib. Alright, let's get to work. Okay, after you have taken it out of the box, which is quite a bit, a lot of styrofoam, you want to make sure all the parts are there. And also the hardware box. <clears throat> Your directions. Alright, let's see if everyone's there. Alright, first thing, you want to make sure you have all the parts once you unpack it. So there you have A, B, C, D, P, and E. And there's A, there's B, there's C, and you have D, and you have them all down here. D, C, B, A, P, that is actually E, the bed, uh, the mattress part, and then make sure you, all your bolts are there. It's a little tricky, you just have to make sure they're all there. I'll give you a little pack with the extra pieces, and just go through your checklist before you start. All right, simple enough. Okay, first thing you're gonna do is attach A and B using P. Now on each piece, it tells you which is the inside. Inside, inside. Now you're going to connect them, as seen on the graph, using two of those and using those. Another way to attach these, you take this piece, using that part up, and you just drop it in the hole, like so. And then you take this. I'm doing it this way. Since I'm filming, I'm doing it at the same time myself. Just take that and connect it. And then you use the other bolt to go through the other side. Now, once you're done with step one, your product's going to be like this. Simple enough. Step two, you're going to attach C to both A and B using four of these, which come together. Now when attaching C, the easiest way is to loosely set them in, get the two tops in first, where you crank it down, and then move down to these. Once you get step two done by attaching C to both one and or A and B, this is what it'll look like. All right, let's move on to step three. Okay, step three, adding E, which is the mattress spring to the crib itself. You're going to use 14 of the small pieces. Now it's recommended that you put the mattress spring in the highest position for a newborn and you lower it as the child grows. So basically adjust those. And we'll be putting the other ones right in there. Since we have a toddler, we're going to use the highest spring. And so these ones here, you're just going to fill in the space 
for later use when you do switch them out. And then, that's what it's going to look like before you position the mattress spring in. All right, step three. That's what it looks like when you have it all set up. And then the two extra basically just go in here to tighten those up on both sides. And like I said, I have this set up for the newborn, which is in the highest position. All right, step four, we will be attaching number D, which is the other end, to the rest of the body to close it up. You will need two of those, two of those, and two of those. And it all attaches up here. Once you are done with step four, adding the four bolts, this is what you'll look like. It's really coming together now. Now off to step five. All right, the final step for the toddler crib is step five. Get a good mattress. We got the LA Baby Dreamtime Essentials. It's a bamboo. And it's a two in one, which the other side is stage two for toddler. And then the other side is actually stage one for infant. And you put that in the crib. All right, that's the crib all built. And the mattress put in there.